Okay, uh, for the next presentation of today, the speaker is lecturer Dr. Uh, Yu Liu Kang. If I'm not wrong for the uh, pronunciation of the name, I'm so sorry for the uh, for this. And now I will briefly read her biography. Uh, Yu Liu Kang received a master's degree in art history at Ox uh, Oxford University, UK, and obtained a PhD in philosophy at Yonsei University, Korea, with a major in Eastern philosophy. So she's currently a lecturer at the philosophy department at Yonsei University and teaches Eastern philosophy and aesthetics. So her research focuses on the contemporary significance of East Asian uh, thought and the comparative analysis of Eastern and Western aesthetics. So I leave the floor uh, to Yu Wu Kang to make her presentation titled The Aesthetic Experience of Gazing into Fire and Gazing into Water in Korean Culture. Thank you for your pre uh, the, your uh, introduction. Hello, everyone, and I'm very glad to have this opportunity to share my ideas with you today. In this presentation, I will discuss the aesthetic experience of gazing into fire and gazing into water in Korean culture. So the acts of gazing into fire and gazing into water have become part of relaxation culture recently, which seeks various ways of so-called spacing out. So recently in Korea, the term, the expression, uh, or spacing out has, uh, has been frequently used in various contexts related to relaxation culture. So let me briefly explain the etymology of the Korean term, uh, uh, which can be translated, often translated as spacing out or zoning out. Bong literally means in Korean, blank or numb state of mind and terigi to hit, therefore, Hitting mong, literally hitting mong, refers to voluntarily reaching a state of absent mindedness or mental blankness, which involves being in a hazy state uh, without any thinking. So there is an interesting annual event that reflects the popularity of this so called spacing out culture. Uh, it addresses the overheated and stress-ridden reality of a contemporary Korean society in a comical and satirical way. The Space Out competition is a participating performance created by a Korean artist. The artist states that the Space Out competition was created to emphasize the necessity and importance of doing nothing to modern people who are always busy and occupied. So in this um, event, it encourages people to do nothing or try to space out for uh, one and a half hour. So participants dress in attire that best present their professional occupation. So the participating, uh, the participants portraying their own professions, uh, for example, from housewives, students, soldiers, hairstylists, designers, or teachers, and many other occupations creates a kind of scene of miniature city where people are actively doing nothing. So in Korean society where many people uh, experience extreme stress on a daily basis, this intentional spacing out has become a kind of stress coping mechanism. Also in recent years, gazing into fire and gazing into water have gained popularity as a way of restful spacing out. It is called in Korea, uh, bulmong, uh, the abbreviation for fire, space out, and uh, bulmong, namely, water, space out. These terms are newly coined words as many people began to choose them as a method of relaxation. So following the popularity of bulmong, fire space out, the term bulmong, water space out, also emerged. So people seek to experience a restful, relaxed state of mind by gazing into fire or water. So as can be seen from uh, various expre uh, expressions uh, frequently used in the Korean media these days, such as fire space out, water space out, or even mountain space out, or field space out, nun mong, people seek to relax their minds by gazing at these objects in nature. So the yearning for mental rest among modern people has popularized various methods of spacing out in Korea. So these uh, recently coined expressions imply that 
the purpose of many people who seek these sights of nature is not so much to admire their beauty, but also to lose themselves in the moment, detaching themselves from stressful thoughts. So actually the term bulmong or fire space out originated among Korean camping enthusiasts, uh, which refers to the relaxing experience of quietly sitting in front of a campfire, oblivious of any stressful thought. So this term bulmong, fire space out as a camping jargon began to be used uh, as far as I remember around the mid 2010. And especially uh, the recent experience of the COVID-19 pandemic, the popularity of fire gazing a trend in, uh, in particular uh, during the COVID pandemic, uh, going through daily restrictions, such as uh, social distancing or known face-to-face -face environment, uh, the consumption of altern alternative contents that allow people to engage in fire space out indoors through digital media uh, has increased. Also, according to recent research in the retail industry, the sales of camping equipment have surged since the outbreak of the COVID-19. So following the pandemic, there has been a significant increase in people enjoying camping during their vacations or weekends. So many people uh, actually record their campfire experience uh, to share them on social media. And nowadays, the expression bulmong, fire space out, has become a frequent Instagram uh, hashtag even. So for uh, many of those for whom the outdoor campfire is not available, uh, seek similar effects from various media. There are many YouTube channels specializing in campfire or fireplace contents, which are created especially for the viewers who seek the calming and relaxing effect of gazing into fire. So actually, uh, relaxing and unwinding in front of a fire has been a part of Western culture. So the sight of a fireplace burning in a living room evokes an atmosphere of tranquility and comfort. So particularly during winter and the Christmas season, like uh, these days, it triggers nostalgia for home and family among Westerners. The first fire gazing, the so-called fire gazing video traces back to even uh, 1960s. This Christmas log video was broadcast on a television channel in New York City in 1966, and it was originally created as an alternative program uh, which was a 17-second looping video of a burning log, uh, which was continuously aired for three hours. And this uh, video, edited with Christmas music, happened to be very popular and was annually broadcast for over two decades. So this nostalgia for the fireplace is also reflected in many YouTube videos. So YouTube channels specializing in relaxing fire content exhibit certain repetitive patterns. So for example, outdoor videos often feature a campfire while indoor videos show a fireplace. The indoor scenes typically present a cozy living room while the outdoor scenes offer a beautiful natural backdrop. Many of these videos combine artificially constructed 3D animations to heighten the feelings of indoor coziness or outdoor natural beauty. Even in cases where actual footage is used, it's common to enhance the overall effect by adding artificial sound or visual effects. So these commonly found visual elements reflect what the users seek from these videos, which can be summarized as relaxation in nature on the one hand, and the comfort of home on the other. Uh, unlike uh, Western culture, where the fireplace has a symbolic significance related to home and holidays, the fire gazing videos posted on Korean YouTube channels are mostly those of outdoor campfires. So the fire gazing videos uh, content is not limited to YouTube. For instance, on Netflix, in, on Netflix, there are videos especially designed for the purpose of fire gazing. 
Uh, on Korean Netflix, for example, there is a series called The Fireplace for Your Home, consisting of three uh, fireplace videos. Each video is approximately one hour in duration, and it's shot in a single take. During the COVID pandemic, even some movie theaters screened fire gazing videos. So audiences actually paid uh, uh, admission fees to spend uh, 30 minutes watching a burning fire in theaters. So the organizers stated that the program was designed to offer a healing and therape therapeutic opportunity uh, for the citizens who have been fatigued due to the prolonged impact of COVID-19. So uh, there might be reasons why many people are seeking this fire gazing uh, experience even through uh, digitally mediated uh, videos. So it might be possible to elucidate the effect of fire or water gazing by borrowing a psychological uh, theory. So the attention restoration theory in psychology proposes that experiencing the state of soft fascination helps us restore cognitive energy for attending to daily tasks. So soft fascination uh, requires being effortlessly engaged while si simultaneously having some free mental space for reflection. So they noted that natural elements such as the sky, wood, sunsets, and sunrises, rivers, and the sea are effective for inducing uh, this mental state of soft fascination due to their innate charm that holds our attention effortlessly. So in this respect, fire and water, the most essential elements of nature, can be the ideal object for uh, soft fascination. So they also pointed out the benefits of soft fascination can be experienced to a certain degree, even through the secondary experience of nature, for example, through screens or digital media. It is also possible in Korea to find fire gazing videos created for meditation on Korean Buddhist channels. Some psychologists point out that spacing out activities such as gazing into fire, in fact, have a therapeutic effect similar to meditation. They point out that spacing out is becoming a trend as a reaction to the fast paced contemporary Korean society. So uh, they say the spacing out is similar to the mindfulness program used in psychological therapy that is derived from a meditation method. And it is a more easily accessible method for the general public. They explain that looking at slowly moving objects can have a meditation-like effect where the body and mind become relaxed. So in fact, uh, John Kabat-Zinn, uh, who is the founder of the Mindfulness-Based Stress Re uh, Reduction Program, which has gained a wide popularity in recent years, pointed out that gazing into fire might have been the first meditative experience for human beings. He states that the calming effect of breath meditation is in fact similar to the experience of sitting by fire allowing us to be here and leaving behind uh, our thoughts and feelings. Also, as Bachelard or uh, Hesse described, gazing into the fires is not merely looking at an object. Bachelard expounded on the psychological effects of gazing into fire in his book, The Flame of a Candle. And the second quotation is from Hesse's Denia. Uh, it is from a phrase uh, describing the nature of the abrasas. So in fact, gazing into fire makes us immerse ourselves in a contemplative state. It is a state where relaxation occurs simultaneously within the reverie mediated by the presence of fire. The imagery of fire oscillating between the concrete and abstract can lead us into a mental state where the unconscious imagination and memory interact, which can often lead to unexpected creativity. Gazing into fire can work as a medium to contemplate one's inner world, which is often suppressed or controlled in day-to-day -day life. 
So um, there is one notable aspect uh, of the consumption pattern of fires based in our content, um, which is uh, there are two distinct characteristics. Firstly, uh, in fire gazing content, the quality of sound is as crucial as the visuals. In the case of campfire or fireplace videos, creators emphasize vividly conveying the crackling sound of the burning flames and consumers in turn show a sensitive response to the quality of the sound. So in fact, this ASMR effect of digital media can enhance uh, the comforting effect of fire gazing. So according to some recent neuroscience studies, the effect of ASMR on our nervous system have been proven to be useful for the reduction of tension and anxiety. So the experience of fire gazing accompanied by the ASMR sound effect offers another level of intimacy and presence that has a soothing effect. So a significant number of fire gazing videos on YouTube are primarily created with a focus on ASMR sound effects, and some videos feature only sound without visuals. So more of a sound like the crackling of burning wood or the sound of water are commonly provided by meditation applications. And another noteworthy point is that a significant number of fire videos are created in a form that combines images of water or the sound of water. Among YouTube videos, content combining visuals of fire and the sounds of water is particularly popular. In many cases, natural environments with a campfire are accompanied by scenes of rivers, lakes, or the sea. In cases where a cozy indoor setting with a fireplace is presented, it is common to combine scenes of rain falling and also the sound of rain. In Korea, there has also been a regular TV program, especially designed for viewers to engage in spacing out. Entitled uh, Quietly 10 Minutes Space Out TV, it presented various moments, for example, natural landscapes, urban scenes, repetitive activities, and so on, in a quiet and contemplative manner without any editing, narration, or subtitles for the whole 10 minute duration. The producers uh, stated that the aim of this program was to allow viewers to become observed in these moments and temporarily let go of their thoughts and worries. Uh, this program lasted about uh, half a year uh, during the COVID period, um, presenting over 300 episodes. So the first and last episode of this program featured a waterfall and a wood fire. The representative image of water space out and fire space out, respectively. These kinds of water and fire scenes were presented repeatedly during this program. So like fire, the gentle wave of water offers a soothing sense of comfort and coziness. In this respect, the immersive experience of gazing into fire and that of gazing into water might be similar. So as water gazing has gained popularity following the fire gazing trend, uh, many travel information sites, including government branch, such as Korea Tourist Organization, as well as many SNS, uh, individual SNS posts, began to introduce places suitable for water space out. So they introduced cafes, restaurants, or hotels, as well as natural sites as ideal spots for uh, Wilmong water gazing. So here, let me briefly uh, go back to the space out competition that I showed earlier. So the visual trademark of this event is cat. Uh, a traditional Korean head worn by noblemen or classical scholars, and the trophy uh, <clears throat> and the models in the poster, uh, as well as the creator herself, have worn them while attending the event for years. So she explains that um, she took this traditional gentleman's hat as a symbol for this event to represent the unhasty and calm manner of a traditional nobleman. She added that back in the day, spacing out was the top luxury that could be enjoyed by a nobleman. But on the other hand, this contemporary event emphasizes the importance of slowing down and relaxing in the busy daily life uh, for all of us. 
So although the motivation of contemporary people seeking a spacing out experience and that of uh, the reposed manner of traditional literature are quite different, but her remark is not entirely untrue either. So in fact, spending a quiet moment in nature has been an important part of traditional literary culture. For example, the significance of the aesthetic experience of gazing into water can be found in East Asian culture. In East Asian paintings, the act of gazing into water has gained yet another cultural significance. So themes like looking at a waterfall or gazing into water appear frequently in traditional literary paintings. So these paintings depict gentlemen looking at waterfalls or rivers. They seem to be uh, immersed. They seem to be uh, immersed in the moment of gazing at the water. So, for example, uh, this painting depicts two gentlemen leaning against rocks, gazing at the water. So, the short, the Chinese phrase accompanying this painting illustrates the experience of gazing into water as a moment of complete immersion and absorption whereby the border between the subject and the object disappears. The three element water, rocks, and the body of the observer merge into a unified aesthetic experience. So why water is a visually captivating subject in itself, the significance and social cultural symbolism in East Asian culture are especially notable. For instance, uh, waterfalls and pine trees often represent the literature's idealistic pursuit in contrast, in contrast to worldly desires, or the gentleman's virtues, integrity, and noble spirit. In East Asian art, the sea might represent freedom from worldly desires, as well as virtues like generosity. It also symbolizes concepts such as great wisdom or Tao, so in other words, it has been a metaphoric image for the broad and composed mind of a wise person. I'm so sorry, you have five minutes left. Okay. So the significance of those uh, paintings of looking at a water or gazing into water is therefore twofold. Uh, while it presents the immersive aesthetic um, experience of the observer in a similar manner to fire space out or water space out, uh, water in these paintings uh, is also a medium that leads the observer to further contemplation. So the mental state of the observer in painting is reposed. At the same time, the idealized character of a gentleman is projected onto the water. So to wrap up, so there might be various ways to explain the recent phenomenon of the popularization of gazing into fire and gazing into water. So broadly speaking, we can address the psychological effects on the one hand and the cultural significance of the fire and water imagery on the other. So as a reaction to information fatigue or an overly stressful day-to-day -day environment, many people consciously or unconsciously desire to escape from spending any cognitive energy at all. So we know that resorting to various forms of entertainment that also require cognitive energy is likely to leave us mentally exhausted again in the end. So on the other hand, on the, on the other side of the overflow of entertainment contents, there is a collective longing for switching off from it all which manifested as the popularization of the term spacing out. However, it is difficult for most of us to stop thinking or be in a relaxed state for an extended period of time. So it is much easier for us to hold on to an object first uh, to eventually stop undesired cognitive or psychological activities. And fire and water are ideal objects for this purpose. So their soothing movement and fluid Borderless imagery enable the viewer to move between spacing out, meditation, and contemplation. Besides the artificially uh, enhanced intimacy of sensations through digitally mediated fire gazing, seems to provide another kind of relaxing experience. So, uh, just a few final remarks. So. The popularity of fire and water gazing is apprehensible given the effects that we have discussed so far. On the other hand, it seems that the meditative and reflective effects of gazing into fire and water have been somewhat 
somehow tarnished as these contents have become another product or trend to consume instead of a moment of true stillness away from the daily search for new stimulation. So this is probably why it is all the more important for us nowadays to realize what genuine rest means. So thank you for listening. <laughs>